Okay, this is a quick no frills video on what you can do with the ultimate trend following strategy once you apply it to your chart. And it does exactly as it was named. It captures and follows large trends. And you can literally start trading this within 60 seconds outside the box as soon as you get it with its default settings, as soon as you add it to your chart. Now, I won't go how to, excuse me, I won't go over how to use every single detail in the strategy in this video. I do have other tutorial videos that go into each of those in detail. But since this is a quick overview, I'm just going to show you real quickly how it works and what it looks like on your screen. So these green areas, let me zoom in a little closer, are considered your uptrends. And anytime it's a red, it's a downtrend. Now, right now I have some filtering on and you'll have that also applied to your chart with its default settings, but the green is an uptrend, red is a downtrend. And you can see here that it shows you when to buy and when to sell. So over here we had an exit from an earlier long. There we go, there was our, our long entry over here and we rode that long all the way up to here, we exited it. We detected a new trend, we entered over here, and we are actually still in this trade right now on Microsoft as we speak. You can see down here you have your profit and, excuse me, your profit and loss settings. This is how much profit your trade has made, uh, how profitable it is, uh, depending on how many trades it takes. So this is closed, three trades, and profitable in two. Your profit factor means every dollar you invest, how many dollars you get back. So this is a 23 or one return. Drawdown is how many trades in a row you lose and so forth. And again, I won't go into all of these. There's a performance summary actually with your back testing and trading view. I won't go into all those now, but just know that that's available and you can see the profitability and the risk of your strategy right here on trading view with where you enter and where you exit. Now, going inside of the actual settings, Here's what you can actually do and how powerful this is and why it gives you unlimited options. So you can literally uh, put any time frame you want. You can test as far back as your chart goes. Your start years, your any month, any date. You can put days in the future. If you want to test a certain year, you can even do that. So you can set that all up here. Time set is based on your time zone. What's really cool about this strategy too is we give you four different ways to detect trends. Right now I'm using the whole moving average. If you're not sure what that is, I won't go into that in this video, but it's a very powerful moving average system. We also have the standard rate of change, Connor's RSI, and this market regime cross is actually proprietary to us. We built this, and this is only gonna be found on this strategy. You won't find this anywhere else on TradingView, but that's also built into here also. So you have four different trend detection possibilities. You have the ability to tweak how long of a period you look back. So you can look for longer or shorter trends. If I decrease this, look for shorter trends, you can see how that gives me more trades. Of course, you know, that will give me different settings or um, excuse me, different strategy results down here for profit and risk but you can tweak those yourself. I have this set to default of 35 outside the box. You usually get pretty good results with this, but you could test it with different settings when you apply it to your charts and assets that you trade. You may find longer, shorter work better than the default for what you're trading. So same thing with standard rate of change. You can change those settings. You can change your Connor's RSI settings, and you can change your market regime settings. And these are all customizable. I have videos as soon as you subscribe that go over each of these, uh, what they do and how to set it. And of course, you can spend time on your own just tweaking these to your liking. Okay, moving on. You also have the ability to enter a trend after a certain amount of candles or bars. And this is really powerful because sometimes you get these whipsaw periods in a trend following system where price goes up and down and there's really no trend. And if you enter after a certain amount of candles, 
that can usually filter out a lot of those trades. So this is very powerful uh, to tweak that depending on what you're trading and what time frame you're trading. You also have the ability to re-enter the trade. So if you're in a trend and let's say your trade gets exited because your take profit gets hit or your stop loss gets hit, but there's still a trend going on, you can re-enter the trend, the trend and re-enter the trade and you can dictate how many amount of candles you want to enter after you exited previously. Very powerful too to keep writing a trend if there's still one presence when you've exited a trade. You also have the ability to take longs, you can take shorts, or you can take both. And depending on what you choose will change your strategy settings. You can take longer shorts. You can see that you know in this particular strategy, taking shorts may not have been a very good idea. But you can also try both. You know, that was profitable longs and shorts, but longs was actually the best for this particular one. That's going to be different uh, asset to asset and time frame that you're trading, but you have the ability to choose the direction of trades. Now, for your stop losses, you have many, many different settings. And I'll actually show you uh, what it looks like on the screen. So here I have a 10% stop loss, and you can see that popped right up on the screen here. This bar here and this bar here is my stop loss. So you can see that I entered here, and as soon as I entered, the stop loss was placed, and this trade actually got stopped out. Here was a trade I entered, and here we had the stop loss place. We haven't got stopped out. We're still in the trade, but it will add it right to your screen. You can adjust it by percent. You can use ticks or pips if you trade other markets, and you can adjust the value. You can make it 5%. 1%, anything you want, any amount of percent you want, you can change it to. And you also have different ways of using, utilizing the stop loss. You can do it based on where you enter. You can do it based on the previous higher low of the candle before you entered the trade. You can even do it based on the previous trend. So there's many different ways to experiment with and find what works best for what you're trading. There's also a Connors RSI initial stop won't go into the details of that in this video, but that also is very adaptive to the markets and a different way of using a stop loss it can be very powerful and uh, different types of assets. You also have an average true range stop loss. If you don't want to use a fixed percent, you can also use the average true range and you can look back a certain amount of period you want, any number you want to add in here, and you can use any multiple of the average true range as your stop loss. You can also move your stop loss to break even you can place your stop loss to break even after you get into profit. And you also have the ability to use trailing stops. So that's very powerful too. And you can see here on the chart, let me show an example of that. You can see that the stop loss now starts to trail price. That's shown right on your chart directly. And you can adjust that by percent pips or ticks, any amount of percent you want. You can also trail using an average true range if you want to use that. And you can experiment with the settings on that and you know see what works best for what you're trading. There's also a take profit on here. So if you want to use a couple different settings, you can use Bollinger Bands or Keltner Channels to take profit if the price touches the Keltner Channels or Bollinger Bands. You can also use one of my favorites is using just a simple percentage from entry. So if you enter a trade and let's say your trade gets into 30% profit, for example, and you just want to exit the trade immediately, let me do something that will actually show on the screen for this particular strategy what we're looking at here. Okay, you can see here we entered here, we got a 10% profit, we exited the trade, we're done. And you can adjust that any percent you want, 100%. Thousand percent, anything you want, you can change it. And you can do that by ticks or pips also. So a very powerful profit-taking strategy you can use. You can also use, if you don't want to use percent, you can use average true range as a take profit also. You could even use Connor's RSI as a take profit. So a lot of different possibilities. You can use them all together at the same time even. And whichever one comes first is what will be used as your take profit. So unlimited possibilities.
Uh, you also have long entry filters, and uh, you have two of those. You could use one as a short time frame, one as a long time frame. You have short entry filters. You have two of those also, short time frame and long time frame. And you can filter out your entries by uh, RSI or stochastics. So if they're at extreme levels, you can use that to filter your trades and to get better entries. And uh, you also have the same thing with exit filters. You can use RSI and stochastics to filter your shorts or your longs. I won't go over into how to use those in this particular video, since this is a quick overview. But again, once you subscribe, you have access to learn how to use those and how to filter them the best. So that's a basic overview of what the trend following strategy does and how it works. You also over here in your properties tab can put in the amount of initial capital you're using. You can put in whatever amount, 100,000. Maybe you're trading with a million bucks. Maybe you're trading with thousand dollars. Doesn't matter. You can put that in. You can use a fixed order size if you want. So if you, you know, say trade, let's say you have thousand dollars, you want to trade with a thousand dollars every time. You can put that in. And you can see down here that your strategy changes down here, and it's all according to the numbers that you input. If you like to compound like I do, you can uh, use a percent of your equity every time. So. If you trade, say, with $10,000 and you want to use 100% of your equity every time to keep compounding, you can do that. And you can set the commissions over here of what your exchange takes. You can set up slippage. So very, very powerful. And then over here on the style tab, if you want to change any of these colors to different colors, let's say you want to make your uptrend maybe a brighter green. You can see how that changed. Maybe you want to make your downtrend a brighter red. Maybe you want to make it thinner so it's not as prominent on the chart. Whatever you want to do with the style settings you're able to, you can change your stop loss colors. You can have full flexibility over what you see here on the chart. And again, I won't go into all the details, but just know that you can change any color, any style setting you want. If you don't want to see the trades in the chart, you can take it off. So. Very, very powerful, and flexible, adaptable tool that can help you to follow any trend and manage your risk and to create really, really profitable strategies. This is one of the main ones that we use in our fund ourselves very successfully and with its filtering options. So it should help you also do very well with the markets. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. There's one more to watch right uh, after this, and we'll show you a quick overview of uh, how it works with the default settings. So thank you for watching this. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to get access to it. Thank you.